Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Fix the Boss here, and today we're doing some shade skills. So, when you jump right in, our beginner skills, we have Foxtrot, which is a teleport skill, but it's really different really, compared to the other ones. What'll happen is, if you're not around enemies, you'll go by 300 units forward, but if you are, it'll teleport you right in front of them, and you just wreck them up. Alright, we also have Spirit Bond, which recovers 1% of HP every time you hit, which is really useful considering that most of your skills hit more than once. And uh, you automatically have a 100% power stance, and you always take 30% less damage. Everything else is all the other basic uh, skill, beginner skills that come with all the other jobs. Alright, first job we have Flash Fist. How it works in the Shade class, slash Unwall class, is you'll, you'll always have one main attacking skill, and except for first job, you'll have another attacking skill, which will usually have a cooldown. So Flash Fist here, it does... 155 damage at the max level. So next up we have a flash jump which is called Vulpus Leaf Leap. It's not a double one, it's just one. And yeah. Thirdly, and our last skill is a passive buff called Cosmic Balance. It firmly increases your weapon and magic defense by 500 and your magic and your max HP and max MP by 20%. Second job, start off with ground pound. This is a slow hitting move. It's pretty slow, but it hits hard. I, I think that the, the class feels a lot more grindy when you use this, so I don't really like it. And then we have Blade Imp. It starts off with a 10 second cooldown at the first level, and it goes down to 1 second. What's interesting about this, and that I use it still to this fourth job, is that it brings enemies down from other platforms. It's really awesome, and it can be useful, very, very, very useful. Next we have Forward Slash, which is like a grapple move, just brings them all towards you. Really simple, and it also has a cooldown. Now we have back step. This just pushes you back, and there's no cooldown on it, but I just don't see myself using it a lot. It also gives you a passive bonus of 15% avoidability. Next, we have your regular Knuckle Mastery, and then we also have Spirit Bond, which will Spirit Bond 2. It's not like Spirit Bond 1, it's Spirit Bond 2, and it boosts your accuracy and avoidability by 200 and increases your attack speed by one stage permanently. So unlike other clouds that have booster and you have to, it's an active buff and it doubles it, this only has one, increased by one level. You have your strength training and then you also have fox spirits. Now fox spirits is interesting because what it is, is it's like those shield things from the Desperado class. You did see me hitting with it, with the flash fish class, or flash fish skill. See that little, those little red things going on, That that's the higher level, fourth job version of it. But pretty much, yeah, they just fly out and they hit other things. And that's it for the second job. For third job, it starts to get a little fun, more fun. We have Shockwave Punch. This is your also main attacking skill. And go, it looks like this. So this one hits three times. It's pretty cool. Next, we have the Blade Imp with Spin Slash. Pretty much like the other one. Except it just has a slightly higher, slightly longer, and slightly higher as well radius that it attacks. Next we have Spear Frenzy. I don't wait for a nice bunch of juicy mobs to come here so I can show you. So I guess I'll just move over here. So it has a cooldown, but pretty much it's like the uh, the move that the Phantom has, Tempest. You hold it down, and all the stuff starts going around. But it does have a cooldown though. That's cool. Down. Get it there. It lasts for a couple seconds, then it goes away. Next up, we have Spirit Trap. It just binds all the enemies, which means that they can't use their skills and they're frozen. You can just wreck them up real quick. Next, you have Spirit Bond 3, which boosts your damage by 20% and gives you plus 20 attack. Pretty awesome. Next, we have Harmonious Defense, which is the following skill to Cosmic Balance. It gives you plus 1500 weapon and magic defense and boosts your abnormal status and elemental resistance by 40% respectively. We also have Summon Other Spirit, which is another revive skill, an auto revive skill that you revive by yourself. It also deals damage to up to 15 enemies with 450% damage 4 times. You also get an invincibility of 3 seconds and this takes 5 minutes of cooldown. Next we have Weaken. Which, per attack, you have a 10% chance of get, of doing, of inflicting this weaken, which 
weakens them, which and what comes with weakening is they take 20% more damage and they lose 60% of the accuracy and they lose 40% of their avoidability. So that's cool. All right, now moving on to fourth job. This is where stuff starts to get fun. Starting off, we have Bomb Punch. This is your other main attacking skill. Where you pretty much just punch the crap out of any enemy that you see. And it's fire. And what I like about this, it's got really high, it's got lots of range. You guys can see with the uppercut that the Spirit has, it hits even that top platform. That was pretty cool if you ask me. Next we have Spirit Claw. This only hits three enemies, which is why I don't use it in mobbing too much. But it hits a lot, and it does a lot of damage as well. It pretty much is like that forward slash from this over here, like that, because it just brings them all towards you. Next we have Death Mark. Now this actually ignores the damage reflect act, or act uh, buff from the bosses, so I'll use this during Dimension Invasion Party Quest. And it also inflicts like a little mark thing on it. Now, if they have more health, they'll have a mark thing over and that'll damage them continuously. Alright, now for some big damage numbers. This does 1000% damage at the level that I'm at right now and it does have about a 5 minute cooldown, but I'm sure that goes down later on. So, if you guys see right now, it does have a couple of like split soul effects, but like, it they take 50% less damage. They take... They take 50% less damage, as it says over here. But when you kill these dudes, you all, you get 50% more, 50% um, more experience. Next, you have Maple Warrior, Standard Maple Warrior. Now you have Spirit Ward over here. So this pretty much has like spirits around you, kind of like shields. And every time you get attacked or buffed, or someone or a mob tries to debuff you, one of those spirits will be taken. And you won't have to have, you won't have to go through those effects. Next, we have Firefox Spirit, which you guys saw when I was doing this thing over here, like so. See those little red things flying on? That's those are those Firefox Spirits. All right, we have Heroes Will, stand pretty standard. And then we have Spirit Bonds Four. So, pretty much what it does is it ignores 10% def enemy defense and gives you plus 10% boss damage. Pretty awesome. And you have high quality knuckle mastery, which pretty much increases your mastery as it sounds like, which is basic pretty much for all classes. And finally, our last skill is critical insight. And when your HP goes lower than 26%, then your critical rate will go up by 54%, which means that you'll hit more than half of the time. You'll you'll hit a critical more than half the time. Anyway, guys, that's it for uh, for this little shade skill video. If you enjoyed, leave a like rating below. Don't forget to comment telling me if you enjoyed it. What should I change for the next classes that will that I'm gonna do skill videos on? And I highly recommend that you guys check out my Shades Life series because I go through all of this and I show you all the places where I leveled up to Shade and how I got here this fast. And I I think it's a pretty good series. I like it. A lot of people have been liking it. So I'll I'll link that in the description below. And uh, if you want to see more Maple Story videos, don't forget to subscribe. I also do a lot more videos, not just Maple Story. So if you're at all interested in like Minecraft or stuff like that, then I highly recommend that you check out my channel. I'll link it all in the description below. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for you right now. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day and stay awesome. See you in the next video.